Stacy Dawson joins me here now. And Stacy, we're starting to see some severe weather video coming yes. in from all over the state. Look at this video we got from a viewer in Loveland where he saw some rain and look at that. Oh, That's hey. hail coming down there today. Yeah, the hail is back with these storms uh, as a cold front comes through. So uh, just like that slow walking uh, marathon, they <laughs> picked the right day for it with the cooler air, but we've also seen hail and heavy rain moving through with the severe weather. Absolutely. So we'll take a close look at the radar. I wanted to show you uh, first off where we stand outside right now. Dark skies on the horizon here looking over downtown Denver. Um, we are going to see some scattered thunderstorms moving through, but you remember yesterday it was 97, hot and sunny. Today, 75, cooler with storms moving through and it's all thanks to the passage of a cold front. Highs this afternoon only in the 70s here from Fort Collins to Denver up towards Sterling. 90s for southeastern Colorado and also 90s for the western slope. We will continue to see strong storms in through tonight. 80s return tomorrow with partly cloudy skies. Hot and dry next week as the 90s return to our area. So at this point we have 65 degrees outside. Our humidity way up. Yesterday it was at 7%. Now it's at 58%. Winds out of the north at 32 miles an hour so it is breezy out there at times. Temperatures mostly in the 60s here for our area but taking a look at the radar you can see how everything is laid out we still have a dense smoke advisory in effect through tomorrow here for telluride and durango here from denver across the eastern plains a severe thunderstorm watch which means we're watching for severe weather and we're definitely seeing it we have severe thunderstorm warnings just east of fort collins and greeley here until six o'clock and this is the storm cell that came through loveland and greeley and had the hail associated with it so as it continues to move off to the northeast and will potentially go north north of Sterling. Watch for the hail. Also, uh, for Ray to Yuma, we also have strong thunderstorm activity there. Um, and Fort Collins, another line of storms coming your direction. No severe thunderstorm warning there yet for you, but between Yuma and Cope, we also have severe thunderstorm warnings in effect here for another half hour or so. Here right around Denver, we have scattered showers here just to the north of Centennial, out toward Brighton as well. These storms are moving pretty quickly off to the east. Heavy rain and lightning associated with those storms. And we are expecting strong storms across northeastern Colorado as we head through the rest of tonight. So keep that in mind if you're out and about for this evening. As for our future cast, see right here, most of it clears off to the east as we head into the evening by 6 o'clock. We'll have storms up into northeastern Colorado and then extending across the eastern plains, clearing out here around Denver for the rest of the night. So tonight's planner includes a temperature of 71 degrees by 7 o'clock. We'll have 50s by midnight, and we are expecting an overnight low of 54 degrees with those showers and thunderstorms moving on through. Highs tomorrow in the 80s. So we're going to start to warm back up again. 86 degrees here in Denver. Your backyard barbecue forecast will have partly cloudy skies. 86 degrees. We're not expecting any stormy weather tomorrow. It'll be hot and dry for the 4th of July as well. Dry here in Denver. 90 degrees by 5 o'clock and 75 degrees by 10 o'clock. So a hot streak on the way here as we head into next week. 87 tomorrow. Low to mid 90s to start the week. And then for the 4th of July, 95. We'll have a few storms on Thursday. 94 for a high. And then 97 by Saturday with sunny skies on the way. Overnight lows in the mid-60s, so the heat is back, but 